Colm, are you coming out to the pub, Colm? The Banshees of Inisherin. It's a story of an island and the people on that island and two friends who are no longer friends and how those consequences reach out into the community. I wanted to get Colin and Brendan back together ever since in Bruges, really. I think people really love them as a pairing, as I do. Sit somewhere else. Huh? And I wanted to explore getting them back together in a very different story. If I've done something to you, just tell me what I've done to you. I just don't like you no more. I have great admiration for Colin in every way possible. I just think his instincts and his integrity are brilliant. You do like me. I don't. You liked me yesterday. I don't have much objectivity in relation to working with Brendan. I love the man and I have just a height of admiration and respect for him. Uh, very real affection. <laughs> Porik, at the start of the film, basically just a sweet, mild-mannered, happy-go-lucky guy. A lot like the real Colin Farrell. Colin was perfect for the role of Porik because he still seems kind of boyish in the way he acts and his facial expressions. I'm as clever as you anyways. I know that at least. Yeah, don't be fucking stupid. Uh -huh. He's brought a whole new thing to Porik, you know, the drop of the shoulders and the letting his body kind of tell it all. And he's brilliant. Well, touche. To what? Touche. Touche is from the French. Colum is quite intense, quite dark in his worst moments, I think. For the darkness of one, the sunny disposition of the other compensates. And then for just the naivety of Porik, uh, Colin's quite sophisticated in his mindset. The pendulum swings wide with Brendan from the tenderness that he's capable of to the godlike wrath as well that he can exude if needs be. It's all there. I've already told you, haven't I? I know, I was just... Why can't you just leave me alone? There's a feeling that Colin on the island is like sort of revered and I think that's the case with Brendan in general. You have respect for him. Colin was always more of a thinker. Huh? Why is every... I think. You're more one of life's good guys. It's interesting to see who an audience identifies with. Can they understand the tough line that Colm, the breaker-upper, has taken? Or do they identify with a nice person who's uh, broken-hearted? It takes two to tango. I don't want to tango. Will you dance with your dog? <laughs>